He was lying in the bedroom while his sister-in-law was plotting an alleged betrayal. On the other side his wife and sister of that woman saw everything. She unbuttoned all his shirt, and soon after started kissing him, and not being able to see that, the sister enters the room and wakes up her husband who was sleeping. Her sister gets up and says that's right, that they had already done everything they had to do. The wife doesn't believe it and starts calling him to leave, and the husband didn't understand what is happening. The sister starts to say that he knows very well what they did together, but he doesn't understand and asks why she is dressed like that. The wife calls him to leave again, and the sister asks if it's not possible that she doesn't see that her husband is unfaithful to her. The husband then says that she must be going crazy because nothing happened. The wife then interrupts and says that actually her sister was always envious, that she always wanted to have her life, and that now she wants her husband, and asks what level she has reached. Then the sister says she doesn't want to have her life, but to show who he really is. Then the wife says that she trusts him very well and that she is an envious one. And not giving up on proving that he is unfaithful, she says she is proof to show how unfaithful he is. He asks her to shut up, but she says she will show her sister, then says that inside the drawer is the proof and asks her to look. The wife gets angry and says that if her sister wants to show something she will have to prove it. Soon, without patience, she goes to that drawer to see if there was anything that would prove her husband is unfaithful. When she opens that drawer, she finds several condoms and one of them was open, as if it was used. Her sister says it's used, and she left it there for her to see. But the wife says that he would never use such a brand, and asks her to stop these false claims. The husband starts asking her to stop, because it is a shame to see her wanting to end their relationship. But the sister said she doesn't want to end anything, she just wanted to show her sister the truth. The husband defends himself by saying that she is making everything up, but the sister asks her to go to the bathroom and look for something else. Her husband kept calling her to leave, but the wife says that if he has nothing to hide she will check it out. And angrily he starts to say that he doesn't have to go through this humiliation, that what she saw is already enough. The wife asks him to relax and says that she will have to see before leaving. Taking a deep breath, decides to go into the bathroom to see what it was. And when she enters the bathroom, she finds a pair of panties on the floor. She reaches down and picks up those little red panties. And leaves the bathroom showing the panties. Her husband asks if the condoms are not enough, now she appears with panties to try to end their relationship and asks if she is crazy with that lack of respect. The wife asks why she does this, that she was the one who put her panties there. Then the sister said that it wasn't her, that she should see all that evidence, that she saw the condoms and panties, and asks if it's not possible that she can't see that he's a bastard. But the wife says the only thing she sees is her wanting to destroy their relationship. The sister asks for calm, and says that she is her sister, and that she needs to believe in her, that she needs to believe that he is a bastard. The wife says she can't because she's lying. The husband asks her to stop these statements. The sister says that it is not possible that she does not believe, and without patience she says that she want to see if she will still believe him when she finds out that the child she is expecting is his. The wife just laughs and says it's impossible, as her husband can't even have children. The sister also laughs and tells her that she must not be able to have children because he is wanting to have a child and she is the one who will give him. The husband looks into her eyes and says that this child is not his, that she is going crazy. The sister interrupts him saying that she didn't go crazy, that if she wants to prove it, she should look in her bag for the pregnancy test. The husband gets angry, and the sister calls him an idiot and asks him to take the test from her bag in the living room. The husband asks her not to believe anything she said, but the wife asks him to go there and get it. He walks slowly to the bag where the pregnancy test is. He opens the bag and starts looking for the test. When he finds it, he looks at the result and sees that it is indeed positive. And the two women keep telling him to go there and get this test. He, with a low and frightened voice, says he's going, not knowing what he's going to do. He then comes to the bedroom, shaking his head and seems to whisper something to his wife's sister. The wife just looks at that test, and then the sister asks if this is not enough proof, but the wife says that it is false, and without patience she says that she has done it, that she can't stand to see her making those accusations anymore. The sister insists that it is not false, 
and that she is really pregnant, and claims that it is her husband's, but the wife just says that she is a disgrace to the whole family, and the husband completes saying that this is a shame, imagine your uncle's knowing about the whole situation, the sister insists that she believe, but the wife asks her to stop, and asks her to leave, because she can't stand to see her face anymore. The husband asks her not to come back to his house anymore, and that she shouldn't come back to disrupt their relationship and he said he doesn't want to see her putting her feet inside his house and demands her to leave. But when she arrives at the door she turns and says that her sister will regret choosing her husband instead of choosing to believe in her family. The husband tries to comfort her, but she takes his hand away, and quite seriously she asks if that is true, so he denies that this was just a plan to end their relationship because she is jealous, so he asks for that test, and says he needs to throw it away and forget about all this, because she went crazy, and said that he will never cheat on her because he loves her, that her sister just wanted to end their relationship, but he will always be with her. Then he leaves the room saying he's going to solve some things. Shortly after, he finds the woman leaving, and asks if what she said is really true, if she really is expecting his child. He asks her to forgive him and tries to kiss her. So he says he has to talk to her, and that his affair with her only works out because they do it in secret, but that's okay, because later they'll see each other. He kisses her and closes the door. What is your opinion? Comment if you want to see the second part.